Hey guys, what's up? I had uh, a lot of people asking to see the Boss Audio Amp Guts on my video that I posted the other day, so my buddy brought this over again so I could take it apart and show you guys what it's all about. I got uh, all the screws removed already. Here's all the hardware from it. Bunch of different types of screws. They got like little flat heads and rounded ones and coarse thread and yeah, it's gonna be a pain to figure out where all those go again. But you gotta take the end cap off to get into where the guts are. Plastic end caps. I took the one with the positive connections and stuff on it. Few side. But uh yeah, so here we go. <clears throat> As you can see, it's not terrible or you know it it's a class a b amp so it's got a larger layout design um, I wanted to try and get some amps here to compare it to but I don't really have any a b's on hand that are this size um I got a picture pulled up on my computer that's of my Soundstream 700.2 so you can see it's got eight caps and then it's got four back here along with the two coils and this one's got two coils four caps back here four caps up here and the sound stream is a true 700 RMS rated amp, so that's what you get for an idea. I also have a Class D 1000 RMS US amps here. It's a Merlin amp. Like I said, it's quite a bit different design because it's class D and class or class D and a class A B. So, um, see what else I got here. Uh, maybe this Ryan amp. This is six hundred. Watts rated. It's an AB amp. This one's got 220 amp fuses in it. Whereas that's got 240s. So. But yeah, so I don't know, judging by the internals and what I see and everything, I would put this amp somewhere around 600 RMS, maybe not even somewhere about that range. I definitely wouldn't give it no 3000 watt rating. Another thing close that you can't really see. On the camera so well is all these little legs are really chintzy on all these vets. I mean, some of them even look like hell. I'll try and find the ones yeah. right there. That spot's like what the hell are they doing? They're all bent up. And that that's not even in there straight. It's in there sideways. It's at an angle.
too. I mean, you pay for what you get, really. I mean, the guy who owns the CMP didn't have much money to start with, so it worked good for him for a starter amp. Now he's got a Hyponix Zeus 3000D, which is actually a really decent amp. It's got the same board layout as the Audio Q2200, so yeah, his Hyponix is definitely beast mode compared to this thing. <coughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if there's something you guys want to see, just let me know, and I'll try and get a video of it like this. So, yep, enjoy.